Are you asking the wrong questions about how to thrive on lemonade? I'm getting so many questions and comments here on the YouTube channel about how to navigate the algorithm and the ecosystem of lemonade. But these questions are telling me you're following people who don't actually know what they're teaching you. So let's take a step back, let's address some of these questions and then reframe them and focus on questions that are actually going to help your growth. The first one that I have been hearing over and over and over again is when should I post on lemonade? Now we have to remember this is a brand new platform. It is new. No, the algorithm hasn't even decided what it's doing yet. It's still understanding and learning and figuring out who people are and what people want to see. Remember with any algorithm on any social platform, its job is to keep people on the platform as long as possible. The more people are scrolling through the platform, the more ads can be shown and the more money that that app can be making. So their job is to take the best content to serve to each individual viewer. Your FYP is different than my FYP because it knows what I wanna see and it knows what you wanna see and those are different things. So they're gonna take what they hope is the best possible content and show it to you so that you'll stay there longer. If you're swiping away, if you're leaving, that's going to cost the money in the long run. So the algorithm's job is to keep people there and viewing things. Now, stepping back into the conversation of this being a brand new platform, it still doesn't know what it's doing. It is figuring it out. It's a baby. If we're looking at all the social apps, we've got the toddlers, we've got the teenagers, we've got the well-established adults, but this is a baby. And yes, it's built by TikTok's parent company. So we're gonna see a lot of the same infrastructures. We're gonna see a lot of the same algorithms, but because everyone has fled onto this app and is just starting to create this content, now it has to understand what the content is, who it's going to serve, and then try to serve it to those people. So we're doing a lot of identifying and we're doing a lot of categorization, which is why we're heavily leaning into our SEO-friendly titles, captions, and hashtags. That's going to help train the algorithm more, but we're not going to be seeing a stabilized algorithm for a hot minute. It's still trying to figure things out. So where in other apps, we could potentially be having a discussion about what times are going to be best based on when your audience is there. Because remember, algorithms take content, they show it to a couple of people, and based on how those people interact, then they'll show it to a couple more people. Based on those interactions, now we can show it to more people or to less people. And so on other apps, sometimes it is relevant to be posting when people are active. That's going to help you, but it's not the end all be all of when we're posting content. That is kind of an old school way of thinking. That was something that was relevant a few years ago. It can still have some impact on it now, but not nearly as much as it used to. So with Lemonade, because it's still brand new, we're seeing the algorithm work really slowly. It will take a lot of time to pick up that content and to show it to some people because you don't have a big, huge following that's dedicated to you and wants to see you right here and now every single second of every single day. So they're just testing things out. They're trying to figure out where to categorize you and where to put you and all of these things with the viewers and with the content creators. It's brand new. So even if you post now, it's not going to be shown to people right now. You're going to see low numbers to start with. It may take an hour. It could take, and it likely will take several hours to start sending it out. I'm seeing most people are starting to see views at least a day later. So it doesn't matter when you're posting. Sure, you can consider when your audience is available. This would be times that you are going to have your audience there. So if you are somebody who speaks to moms, you're not going to have an audience there when the moms are trying to get the kids off to the school bus, right? They may show up after the kids are in bed in between primetime TV commercials, right? So we wanna be mindful of when our audience is there, but it's not going to make or break what you're doing. Post when you have content, space out your post by about an hour each so the algorithm has some time to work. If you've got questions, let's go ahead and drop it down below, but we've got more myths that we need to be busting about lemonade right now. So we have a lot of people who do ask the question, why aren't I getting traction yet? Why am I posting and nobody's following or nobody's seeing this? Why isn't this working for me? I'm getting a lot of stressed out people in my comments. And that goes back to the question of how old is this app? It's a brand new app, my friends. It doesn't have a situated algorithm yet. It's still figuring things out. So you are not going to get a lot of traction for at least a couple of months. This is something where you're building up your authority in this space. You don't have a ton of competition, so now is the time to be posting, but you're also not going to see massive growth like you do on TikTok. You're not going to see virality like you do on TikTok. You're not going to see a lot of the things that you're seeing on Instagram or YouTube because it's brand new. It's still figuring things out. So. Even if you don't have traction right this second, it doesn't mean it's not going to get there. Now let's pause for a second. TikTok's parent company owns this app. 
which means it's built on the same infrastructure. We're going to see a lot of the same algorithm things. So we know with TikTok, it's a slower algorithm now. At this point in time, we don't see traction right away on a piece of content we put out. Usually we're seeing that content pick up after a week, after two weeks, after a month. We're going to be going through that iteration with Lemonade as well. Your traction will not be kicking into gear for a hot minute. So just because you're discouraged because you're only getting a couple of views now doesn't mean that content's not going to pop off. I want you to think about TikTok. Think about the people who were famous on TikTok. They were the early adapters to the platform. They were the people who were there at the very beginning. You want to make sure you're putting out good content now because they're going to send it out to some people now. But once you start building that authority over the next month, two months, six months, that content is going to be the staple content that they then pick up and show to everyone for the next couple of years as they're joining the app. Now's the time to grow your authority and to create really solid content. But do remember that this is not something that's going to pop off right this second. Now, something else that we get asked a lot on the YouTube channel here is why are there some people that are super popular and I am not popular yet? Why is that? So we notice when we're watching different accounts, you'll see people with 30 followers, with 40 followers, with 200 followers. They're lower numbers right now, but then we have the outliers. They've got 14,000. They've got 20,000. These people are not new celebrities to the platform. They did not arrive on Lemonade and suddenly pop off. Those people are celebrities on other platforms and have brought their audience over. You can be looking at some of these people who are TikTok celebrities, who are Instagram celebrities, who have jumped onto Lemonade and brought their followers with them. These people who already have that established foundation on other apps are bringing their people over. It's one of the reasons we're seeing it take off so quickly and so many people are downloading this app. But if you're not bringing your audience with you, you're starting from scratch. So we're not comparing ourselves. We are not comparing ourselves to other people who are jumping on the zap who are bringing people with them. Look around the space. Everybody is brand new. And unless you're bringing in that massive following, you're all getting to know each other. So we're not stressed and we're not struggling with this. You will develop your people just like you do on every other social platform. And because it's brand new and there's not a ton of competition, you're likely to have much more authority than you do on other apps. And you're going to grow that with time. And as it continues to develop and more people jump on and more people create content, because you were an early adapter, now you have the opportunity to have that leg up on everybody and you can just continue to grow where everybody else has to start from the bottom again. So yes, you will see people with higher numbers, but those people are already popular elsewhere and brought their crew with them. It's not about you and it's not about comparing your content to their content because it's not even the same thing. It has nothing to do with their content and everything to do with the fact that they're bringing the party with them from somewhere else. So let's talk about how we can reframe some of this. Let's ask some good questions that are going to be able to help your growth on the platform. We're not worried about the algorithm right now. We're not worried about posting times. We're not worried about popularity. We're not worried about any of that. We do need to be worried about how we can clearly communicate with our audience, with what we are doing to serve them. So when people come to our accounts, what are they going to understand about how we benefit them? Remember, with any social platform, people don't care about you and they don't care about me. They care about what we can do for them. We're a self-centered community and we want to know, how is this going to serve me? How is this going to benefit me, inspire me, educate me, help me? How is this going to be meaningful to me. And so we want people to be able to come to your profile and clearly understand what's going on. So your graphics, your titles, your captions, your bio, all of these things have to communicate at a glance what I'm going to get out of it when I come to see you. It's incredibly important to make sure we understand what we are doing to serve our audience and that they clearly understand that as well. If you can clearly show exactly how you're going to be serving them, they're much more likely to stay. Now, does this mean you need to niche down? Maybe yes and maybe no. It depends on what you're going to be doing. Lemonade is definitely more of a lifestyle vibe. We definitely want to be multifaceted here. We want to be able to do all the things and bring people into our community and form this collaboration with them them 
and our lives and everything that we're doing and how we run our businesses, all of those things can be a part of this, but you have to be smart about your intentions for this. So before you jump into it, we are setting those intentions of whether you are simply marketing your business or you're going to be marketing one facet of your business, you're going to have multiple accounts, or if it's going to be more of a lifestyle, hey, get to know me. If that's the case, you're really not marketing your business as much. You're going to be using some of the other social platforms for this. So think all of those things through. And if you need help deciding what you're doing, how you're doing it, the trajectory that you're going to be creating for your platform or how to advance what you're doing so that you can skip some of the steps where you have to figure it out as you go, you can come hang out with me for coaching. I work with people all the time to help them navigate the world of their social media to know exactly what they can and should be posting to best represent their intentions for those platforms and what they're hoping for the outcome. So those are conversations we can have over in coaching. I'm more than happy to help you out with this. I'm very, very good at pinpointing ideas and giving you full out lists of content that you can be creating in under five minutes. It's really easy to do. So you want to make sure that you're very, very clear and then you lean into that. But with ever or with everything that you do and with whatever you are doing, you are very clearly, loudly, boldly with your text, with your words, with all of those things, telling and communicating with people how you best serve them so they understand and can choose to stay or to scroll away. This is going to help qualify your leads, which can then also result in more sales, whether or not you're marketing your business heavily or you're going for the lifestyle, you're still building your brand with this. So you want to be very clear about that before you jump into it. Now, another thing that you want to make sure that you are doing is to be showing up for your audience. The question is, how can I best show up for my audience? What can I do to serve my audience? So we've clearly spelled out how we serve them. Now we have to figure out how to clearly serve them on the platform. So what can you do to help your audience? Is it educational tutorials? Is it instructional tutorials? Are you going to be entertaining? Are you going to be showing behind the scenes on things? What are you going to be doing and how are you going to be doing it? You need to figure out how you're going to be creating content. We talked in other videos about how much content you should be putting out, how often you should be posting for your goals. We talk about what types of content you can be creating. And if you've got questions on any of those, first watch those other videos. I'll link the playlist down below on the tutorials. But you can ask questions too. I'm happy to keep creating content here on the YouTube channel to help you level up with this. But you need to serve them the best way you can. So what's the best way to communicate with your audience? Your audience is going to be different than my audience. And my audience is going to be different than his audience and her audience and all of these things. So you have to understand who you are trying to serve and what's going to communicate best. And sometimes that's trial and error. And sometimes that's working on different projects and trying different things. Lemonade is a very different platform than Instagram is a very different platform than TikTok. So you have to understand who your community is and how best to communicate with them. So ask yourself, how can I best serve my audience? How can I best make sure that I am helping the people that I am intending to help with these posts, with these videos, with these albums with these carousels, you need to be sure that you are very, very clear on what you're going to be doing and then lean heavily into that. And you also want to make sure that you are going to be asking questions like how you can be an active community member inside of Lemonade. We know it's not just about us right? If we show up with the intention of only saying, buy my products, I'm doing all these things, you should pay me for this, all that stuff, you're not really serving your audience and you're not serving the community. Algorithms, watch what you do. If you show up and post and then you run away, the algorithms know that. They know if you're not supporting your community. They know if you're not commenting back. They know if you're not taking time to engage and to interact with other people. So how can you best help to grow this community? Outside of what you're doing, you need to be going over and having conversations with people. You need to be viewing their content. You need to be scrolling through the apps, which is also incredible research for you. And if you're not doing it, you're not doing it right. I can say that with full confidence. If you're not taking the time to study, what's going on in this ecosystem, you're not doing it right. So you need to make sure that you're an active and engaged person. You cannot expect people to just show up and support you all the time. You have to go and support other people without the intention of drawing them into you. A lot of people will teach, there's really bad coaching out there, where they say, go and leave 20 comments and then 10% of those people will come back and they go with the intentionality of just soliciting people to come back over to their page. And sometimes they are in their face. Hey, come and like, I'll come check out my content, all those things. That's not good. But if you go into this with the mindset of I'm only engaging to get people to come back and look at me, that that shows. That shows when people are seeing the content you're putting out there. That shows when people are seeing the comments you put out there. And that shows when people are seeing the comments on their pages. They know what you're doing. So go and be an active part of the community. Leave comment love. Not so cute, heart 
heart eye emoji. We're not going to do that. We're going to go and have an actual conversation. We're training the community as a whole with how to interact with each other. This is brand new with the Wild West, baby. That means we have the ability to set the parameters by which this will be dictated and governed. If you want comments on your posts, go to other people's posts and just be a good community member. Support them. If you see something you like, talk about the person's hair, talk about the really cool background, talk about the great tips that they gave, talk about what you learned, be a good community member. This is a relationship. And if it's a one-sided relationship, people aren't going to stick around. We talk about real life relationships where one person's doing all the work and all the emotional burden is on that one person. That's not healthy and that's not good. We're not going to do that. We are going to go and we're going to make sure we're pulling our weight in the community. And that means supporting other creators that we like, not just to get people's eyes on our content, not just to get our name in front of people, but simply to teach people how to communicate with each other on this platform, which in the on the back end of this does in fact benefit you, but is not the thing that you are going to be going for. This is just to grow the community. Be there, be a good person, be a person who's supportive of each other, be somebody who facilitates conversation. You wanna make sure that you are making that effort. And that really brings us to our last point that I wanna be talking about. And that is how can I build community and facilitate conversation? And yes, that is on your part of the platform in your little corner of the world. And that's out in the world on the FYP too. How can you build community and how can you build conversation? you want to make sure that you're very, very clear that you're building a community around you. So the things that you're putting out on this platform need to be things that will draw community to you. You want to form collaborations. You want to form alliances. You want to form conversations around topics that are meaningful to people. We want to have conversations that work really well. And that means you have to open up the door to conversation. You need to ask questions. You need to ask for opinions. And that can be in your posts. That can be in other people's posts. So let me paint you a little picture here. If you are going to a coffee shop and you just say, I'm going to a coffee shop and I'm getting a latte. What do people say to that? There's not really anything people can say back to that. There's no room for conversation there. You can say, I'm going to a coffee shop. Should I get an ice drink or a hot drink? Okay, so now we've got options. People can say one or the other. That's a pretty good way to start. This is the gateway conversation. But now I want you to try something like, I need your help. I don't know what to order when I go to the coffee shop today. This is a creative and inspired day for me. So I want something that's going to help be creative and inspirational while I'm jumping into my work. What do you recommend? Now, all of a sudden, you've given them very clear guidelines, very clear parameters for how they can be having a conversation with you. You're opening that door. You're giving them permission to speak to you. Nobody wants to be the first kid in the, hand, in the class to raise their hand. So give them that opportunity. Ask that question. This way, they don't have to go out of their way, but they can then communicate with you. So how can you build community? And how can you build conversation? How can you support people in your comments? How can you support people on the FYP? Make sure that as you're going into your Lemonade content creation, you understand the algorithm is still brand new. It's figuring itself out. At some point, will we be able to report on the algorithm? Yes, we will. But right now, it's simply testing and it's going to be for the next couple of months. If you're not popular yet, we're not panicking. If you're not seeing traction in like half a year or a year, now we can have a conversation. But until that point, this is just the way that it works. Everybody is on equal footing unless you're coming with a celebrity team from elsewhere and you're all going to be going for the same conversations, the same people, the same communities, and you're building up from the beginning. So it's okay. This is not going to be an overnight success. We're not gonna see virality on all of our content right away. The things that you are putting out now will build in authority and will likely be the things that are sent out six months from now, a year from now three years from now, as more people are joining this app, you've already built that authority and proven it's good content. So this is the stuff that's going to be shown again and again and again and again. I still have things on TikTok from three or four years ago that are still being shown to this day. I get weekly hits on that content, if not daily. This will be translated to Lemonade as well. 
Now, I know there's a lot of questions we have about Lemonade because it is brand new. I've been working with this for a hot minute now, and so I wanna make sure we're getting your questions answered. I report on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, live streaming, and tools and resources to help you save time and effort creating your social content so that you can make more money online but spend less time doing it. And I wanna make sure we get your questions answered. So if you have algorithm questions, there are no silly questions. I know it's a little bit different than the social platform. So you are more than welcome to ask these questions. I'll direct you to content I already have or I'll create new content for you. If you're not sure about how to grow your authority or what types of things you should be doing, I've got lots of content for you, but I also have those coaching sessions. Please feel free to hit me up. If I have free and accessible content to you, I will send that to you first. I'll give you the option of um, scripted content where I give you an actual action plan of everything to do for a full month. It's actually a three month thing. Um, so you know exactly exactly what to post, how to create it. You can do it in under five minutes a day. It's super easy to do. And you can come for coaching as well, where we really get down into what you're doing on your social platforms and in your business to make sure that you are aligned to be more profitable this year. We want to make sure we're getting your questions answered. So as you're starting to see new features, as you're starting to see things develop, if you have questions, please reach out and ask them. If you don't want to ask them publicly here on the YouTube channel, DM me on Instagram, send me an email. I am here for you. I'll keep it anonymous, but we'll get that information out to everybody so that we can all grow together. I've got lots of things linked down uh, down below for you. The playlist is there. My Lemonade is there. By all means, come hang out with me on Lemonade. Let's be friends and let's celebrate each other. And you can watch what I do and you can get ideas and inspiration from what I do as well. But we also want to get those questions answered for you. So hit the subscribe and notification bell because every single day we're dropping videos and tutorials to help you navigate the world of social media so that you can get back to running your business and living your best life while still creating content easily without stress, without overwhelm that is going to help you to be more profitable this year. I'll see you in the upcoming episodes.